So today we are doing some raid. I was actually able to beat Queen Azumashik last week with this team you see here. If I can find the clip I made of it, I'll be putting it up now, but if not, then you'll see this. But it was incredibly close. A again, I just think it kind of comes down to luck with this sort of team. There's only one Dispeller on a pretty long cooldown. So what we're going to try now is replacing Hazel with Akates. Akates is by no means super built up, but I think she is good enough. Here you can see her current gear. It's nothing special. We do have some 15s here. There are a few things I want to switch out eventually. Uh, this necklace, we got a pretty nice necklace, I believe, from uh, Raid the other day. Health plus 10%, we got defense, speed, effect resistance, all decent things for her. Health main stat being the best thing here on the speed set. So she currently doesn't, she has like two health sets and then a broken up there, so it's kind of weird. Uh, we do have a couple of decent things, you know, some extra defense never hurts. But she's not going to be the front line, it's still going to be Destina as our front line. So we're going to try that again, and then we're going to be trying Hell difficulty. I'm a little bit scared, because that might just be a huge waste of time. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is that we don't have the attack buff from Hazel anymore. We have to go grab a Labyrinth Cube, hold on. Ah, thank you, Guild. Which also means we can get a little bit more effect resistance, which, um, you know, isn't super great, but there's a lot of debuffs going on there, so it could help. She's at 61% now. I don't know why that wasn't on purpose. So yeah, personally, I only buy one extra Labyrinth Cube per week from the Guild Shop, since the other ones are like three Leafs, and I'd rather use those on energy. I'll be back to you guys when I'm actually at the boss, and we can see what's going on there. All right, 20 minutes later, here we are right before for the boss and um, my strategy has changed a little bit of course we have to first attack the queen to hatch the eggs and then of course we're going to, to kill the eggs um, or the enemies inside the eggs so since we have two dispellers now we're gonna go ahead and start off with one straight off the bat to get rid of those uh, debuffs and just kind of save hers for when we have extra debuffs and I'll go ahead and use one Arky to start to get a little bit of a buff as well as because we don't really need the souls anyway I mean we could burn a few ults I guess or just Luna really um, but I would actually rather get the a uh, little bit of extra damage on those spiders, as well as that little attack buff from Arky. And we'll get those souls back most likely before the queen's at under 50% anyway. So this is taking way, way longer than I expected, and I think this has have to do with getting bad RNG with Luna. Uh, with her never getting that like third hit, super powered uh, basic attack off, as well as um, having no attack buff. That really, that really impacts the battle as well. But uh, it should should be coming to a close soon. Um, this spider, hopefully, will die at one point. And Queen Azumashik is like exactly at 50%, so I'd rather kill the spider with Luna, just to make sure it dies, uh, so that they will be gone when she goes into like berserk mode and the other two eggs hatch. Here comes this ouchness. And um, she already has way more so Queen Azumashik already has way more attack stacks than she usually does at this point. And I'm still at like maximum cooldown because she's only hitting Destina, which is a shame. But the uh, different strategy I have now is to go after the bees first, which I don't even know if it is a good idea with, with this team because they are so um, weak. I don't have the attack buff. I um, can barely keep up with the healing even. I didn't get the defense break, so it's pretty bad luck so far. Um, we're just gonna keep trying though, uh, hopefully, you know, wow, yeah, this is actual cancer, um, we're just gonna go ahead and auto and let them die, so we can retry that without having to use any of the, uh, souls, but currently it's not looking too good, I don't know if one DPS and no real buffs going on is, is enough, alright, this time unfortunately the other eggs hatched too early, so we're gonna use a panic Arky, and hopefully that kills the spider, um, you generally want to save Arky for when the bees are already gone and the queen is down low because then for some reason her evasion chance increases a ton and um, this thing is still alive. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Thank you. Three of us are defense broken currently so that's extremely unfortunate and it looks like Katie's or however she's called someone's always com complaining about my pronunciation. Uh, doesn't look like she'll get a turn but before everyone's dead probs. Stop it! I won't lose. 
Oh, and you decided to go for Akates. GG, Queen Azumashik. Damn, it's cool how the enemy's AI is so much smarter than my own heroes. Like, I know she's not the fastest, but at one point, can she please have a turn? I mean, there's like all the debuffs are gone anyway at this point. Uh, there are a little bit too many on Destina, so we're gonna go ahead and clean them up. But uh, even so, yeah, this isn't going so well. And she doesn't heal at all enough. She needs that Rod of Amaryllis or like 10k more HP than she currently has. The second B is almost down, but this is where it always comes in clutch. And I don't think it's going to be any different here. So in the future, I might just go ahead and take uh, Hazel anyway until Akates is much better built. Um, because at the moment she doesn't really do enough. She's not fast enough. Her heals don't heal enough and um, Yeah, I mean she would have been good if Queen Azumashik didn't hit her uh, instantly um, But this isn't looking super bad right now um, I almost want to burn heal. I think that would be the safest thing to do. We're gonna get another AoE coming up soon and Hmm, um, let's start with the second second skill heal uh, healing up Cluri there is more important as she does take like a pretty significant proportion of damage and you know uh, when they're doing the AoE crap that, uh, that, that's, that comes in more clutch. Hopefully we can get that uh, those buffs removed at least, maybe a defense break. Yes, all of the above. Let's go ahead and do this. Get a tiny bit of AoE healing. The rod would be perfect on her but it's currently equipped on Hazel right now. Okay, so this we should survive this. Oh, but she got those buffs back. Regardless, we do, we did survive. Uh, I'm gonna try and do a little bit more damage before starting to bring out the Arky. I think once she gets like uh, to 20% or so is when she can start missing and counter-attacking and stuff and that gets annoying. Here comes moment of truth. If we can survive this, then we can probably... Ouch. Attack down? Yes, thank you. That will help. Uh, let me see. Unfortunately, no defense break currently, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then I think if we are lucky enough, we can kill her the rest of the way with Arky, maybe. I mean, we can try and get those buffs removed, even though I don't think that helps anymore at this point. But, uh, let's give it a try anyway. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the first Arky here. Boom, 19. Let me see, let me see. Ooh, we might need an extra Arky. Oh, shit. Oh no! I don't know if that Arky is gonna be enough. Should we burn heal? Damn, that might be a mistake. Let's burn heal. And, um, use the other Arky. Oh man, this is gonna be close again. <laughs> but it's like the same close as with my other team. Oh, she's down. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't know. Until KT's is better built, I'm gonna probably just keep bringing Hazel. We do still have another boss here. I'm gonna go as far as I can, but when we get to negative 30, I'm gonna give up. And I don't think this this next boss work works really well with this team, but we're gonna try anyway. Alright, couldn't make it to the boss. Pretty close, but at negative 31, we have zero chance anyway. Wrong team, regardless. Oh, I didn't know you can buy these necklaces every week. But yeah, I got this one for Tower Guard. Looks pretty good. Unity set, just wouldn't really know who else I should give Unity set to. So yeah, pretty happy with that run. We also got a epic helmet here, rage set. Substats are horrible. Hell difficulty. I don't really know what to expect here, and I haven't decided on which boss I'm gonna try and go for. Looks like there are currently only two I could go for, this dude or this dude. With this dude, I kinda need a lot more damage because I need to continually kill those dudes. Probably try it with this team. Got defense break, attack up, and two DPS. Uh, Ravi has my frontliner. I don't know if she's gonna be tanky enough. Probably not, but whatever, let's give it a try. Well, first we have to actually make it there. Uh, I tried hell once and went the other direction, I think, over to this guy, and, um, whoops, wrong, no, stop it, you're wasting morale, and got killed by an unelite, so, um, yeah. I reckon I can auto through the non-elites, but probably, oh my god, they're level 70. I don't understand why they're going for this egg when this egg is defense broken. Oh god, two bees. I have BTSD. Ha. Oh, Luna, using your ult for like 3 HP. I'm not familiar with elite locations yet. I believe they're usually like at crossroads though, so... Uh, which we will be entering one soon. 
probably should take them off skill or off auto or something. But the minions definitely aren't too hard. Okay, here's our first elite. I'm gonna kill the minions first because, oh, no defense break. Elite bosses, I imagine, are going to be way too tanky and then I kind of don't want to have all the damage from the minions as well. And the defense break of the minions. I'm gonna go ahead and use Ravi's ult. Hopefully stun them, do some good damage. Yeah, stunned all of them. Excellent. And we're gonna use an Arky. We'll get that Arky back before the boss for sure. Kill his dude. And this one. Now we just got the boss left. And that should do it. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. He did do like one attack on Cluri and it did almost half of our HP, so... I'm glad he, we didn't really give him much of a chance to attack at all. Oh no, another elite. But it's of the same type and we could do it last time, so let's try again. And Raviolt. That should do some good stuff, hopefully. Having the spider minions... No, it's not gonna work. Oh! Almost, but it stunned all four of them, so it's fine. And they're down now. Finish it off with a Luna ult. Well, maybe not. He still has a lot of HP left, but uh, let's see what we can do. Eh, not quite, but still decent. Almost there. I think one more fight. We're gonna camp, and then, <laughs> uh, yeah. Full disclosure, um, I have no illusions. I'm probably not gonna be able to beat this boss, so I'm not gonna be surprised when I get flattened. But, um, we're gonna try our best anyway. Oh, with this team we can get a ton of morale. Luna's Criticism, 18. And Ravi's Food Story, which will give a decent chunk as well. But not quite as much, 9. And here we go! Um, nothing to it but to do it! Gotta get rid of these little spider dudes ASAP, so we can actually start doing some damage. I wonder if, like, Daydream Joker would be nice here. Cause I think, maybe you wouldn't really have to care about killing those dudes. I don't know if that's how it works. Go ahead and start with the AoE just because she has the attack up, that dude's defense broken, so no better time to use it, I guess. Ouch, they are kinda tanky. Got rid of one. Ooh, that already hurt quite a bit. And she is stunned, this is bad. Wow, 4,000 damage? Get out of here. Oh lord, now we have to deal with the, uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Gotta deal with his ult now, see what see what that brings. Mm, can't defense break yet, have to wait until he attacks, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Oh my god, no damage yet. Come on, do your ult. Bring it to me. Boom! Alright, alright, alright. Um, This is the only moment I have to actually do damage to the boss, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. Uh, thankfully we can get this attack up. Oh no, we can't be buffed! Shit! Ah, damn, son. Why you gotta do this? Uh, I don't know. We might need a dispeller here. Oh, lord. No, not my Luna stunned. Ow. Oh, my god. Whatever. YOLO it. He's defense broken. Let's burn this. Mud up. Boom. Chop. Boom. Did almost nothing, but you know, well, we can be healed, so let's heal that up a little bit. Eh, gonna use Arky, why not? If we can get him like halfway down, I would already be satisfied, but I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> Stunned. Oh yeah, he doesn't take any damage anymore already. Well, let's go ahead and ult on the spider then. Why not another Arky? I don't think that defense up and stuff helps the actual boss. He still takes 17k from Marky, so don't really gotta wait for that. Boom! Defense break, which is bad. I don't know, when he does his ult, the attack's gonna go away, I guess. But, uh, may as well do it now. And boom, goodbye all my- Oh no, we get to keep the attack buffs. Alright, that's cool. We can do a little bit extra damage here. Maybe should have saved the ult. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do Ravi's ult now. She has the greater attack up, as well as the boss being defense broken. There goes 50! Yeah, there it goes. Does anything happen? I forgot. This guy was the first one I could actually beat in like normal mode, so I didn't pay too much attention to his mechanics, although now that I'm <laughs> fighting him in hell mode, I probably have to quite a bit more. Go and use Arky again. For some reason, this dude healed. Didn't know he can heal. He's above 50% now, maybe low now. Um, I'm gonna try and save uh, her ult for the boss, see if that can work out. Ouch, that was fast. Alright, whatever, man. 
Do some of this. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, uh, damn. There goes Cluri. No more defense break for us besides Luna's ult, but uh, that's kind of what I would need the defense break for. Uh, yeah, but we got pretty cl closer than I thought, actually. He's at like 30, 35% or so. He's just, he just too many attack stacks now, so I don't know. I don't really know what we would need. It's like maybe more damage, maybe a better built Luna, um, better built Ravi perhaps, or a different team entirely. You can do it Luna, solo. He's, he's above 50% health now. Do we just need like complete full DPS and just like go ham on him before he gets any like a, attack buffs? I mean, we are kind of as much DPS as we can be. Maybe Cluri for someone else, but um, I don't know. I actually don't know if it'd be worth it to leave now. What, what do we actually got? Mm, just some sap covered items. Thing is, those weird skeleton things can stack up, so it's like, may as well just wait until the point I'm strong enough to actually kill something and just have like 10, 10 of these uh, malicious bug charms. But I've actually been sitting on my mystic summons for a while. I have 350 of these tokens, so we can do seven summons. I kind of been wanting to, even though I don't really expect to get anything cool there. But we got Rose, uh, Akatis is in there. Um, maybe we should wait until like Angelica's in there. But Rose wouldn't wouldn't mind getting Rose. She could be my tank. Then I haven't raised my tank yet because I'm kind of hoping for a better one. Forget it. Let's go. Let's do these seven summons. Come on, specimen says. All right, it's a three star. Cursed compass, man. I. Got enough of those out of the normal summons. Three star, boring. Put your corpse inquisitor, get out of my face. Uh, three star. Uh, this took me like three weeks to save up. Another cursed compass. Leave me. Ooh, here we go. Zero Rin. We're one random deep. Yeah, okay, mage exclusive. Go away. Come on, another four star, but a hero. Oh, put your corpse inquisitor. No. Come on. Oh my god. Carrot, we got one more chance. Come on. This is the one. Bing, bada boong, bada abracadabra alakazam, five star. I know it is. Come on. <sighs> Mighty Yaksha. All right, well, that'll do it for today's video, I guess. Um. I'm glad we can beat Queen Azumashik on normal mode, and I can see the possibility of destroying my first hell mode raid bosses, but um, that's probably still going to take a while. Might need to rearrange my team as well, although I like this team. It's pretty offensive while still only having, you know, two DPS, but then we have the attack up, defense break with Cluri. I think the problem is just that the gear isn't good enough on my DPS. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you have any strategies for hell mode bosses, uh, you can leave them down there as well. Leaving a like if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. If you want to stay updated with my future videos, you can hit that subscribe button. But that'll do it. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.